Matatag K-10 Curriculum, Math 4, Quarter 3, Week 1. Represent decimal fractions with denominators up to 10 using models. Generate equivalent fractions using models. Day 1. Short review. Name and identify the kinds of fractions represented by the given figures. Let's answer this in table 1. Naming fraction, we have 3 fourths. Kind of fraction, proper. Number 2, number 3, number 4. Table number two, kind of fraction. Number two, number three. What have you noticed with the denominators of the first set of fractions in table two? second set and third set of fraction in the same table the first set of fractions have the same denominators the second set of fractions have different denominators aside from having either common or different denominators what have you noticed with the kinds of fractions given within a set of fractions the sets of fractions are combination of proper fractions improper fractions and mixed or whole numbers similar fractions are sets of fractions with common denominators similar fractions are sets of fractions with different denominators as a set both similar and dissimilar fractions may compose of proper fraction improper fraction and mixed or whole number. Subtopic 1. Modeling dissimilar fractions with denominators up to 10 using fraction strips or bars, fraction desks or circles, and number line. We have here paper folding and coloring activity. Paper 1. Kim has a rectangular cake divided into four equal parts. She wants to give her friends one slice each. If she has two friends, how much part of the cake was distributed among her friends? Two-fourths. Paper 2. Theon divided his paper into eight equal parts and shaded half of it. What fraction represents the shaded part? Four eighths. Paper three. Rapa's rectangular vegetable garden was equally divided into three parts. He plans to plant tomato seeds in one part of the garden and mungo seeds in the rest of the vegetable garden. What part of the garden will be planted with tomato seeds?
one third paper four kelvin decided to divide his paper into six equal parts and she did two parts of it what fraction represents the shaded part two six Taken individually, what kind of fraction is each of the examples? Proper fraction. Taken as a group or set, what have you noticed with their denominators? They have different denominators. What do you call a set of fractions with different denominators? Answer. The similar fractions. What have you noticed with the shaded parts of the dissimilar fractions? Two fourths and four eighths, one third and two sixths. Value of the shaded parts seems the same but different in the number of equal parts the whole was divided. Two fourths and four eighths have the same value. One third and two sixths have the same value. Similar fractions are sets of fractions with different denominators. These sets of fractions may include proper fractions, improper fractions, mix or whole numbers, or combination thereof. Visual representation of dissimilar fractions may help us see fractions in a tangible way and understand better those different denominators represent varying parts of the whole. Now, let us work on more examples using manipulatives. Using fraction strips and our fraction bars. Three fifths and two thirds. Five sixths, three tenths, two ninths. Two sixths, one fourth, one eighth, and two thirds. Two sixths, eight eighths, five tenths. Five thirds, three fourths, one half, and two sixths. Using a number line, two fifths and one half. One and one tenth, two halves and four fourths. Day two. Complete the table below. Day three. Subtopic 2. Modeling equivalent fractions using fraction strips or bars, fraction disk or circle, and number line. I have here the activity matching fraction twin cards. Equivalent fractions are fractions with different numerators and denominators, but represent the same fraction. From the given examples, it can also be noticed that equivalent fractions come from the same whole. Let us have more examples using other visual representations. Example 1. What fraction does its shaded part represent? Answer. One half, two fourths, three sixths, and four eighths. What did you notice on the size of each shaded part? Answer the same or equal. How do you call fractions that name or represent the same fraction? Answer equivalent fractions.
drew another strip below the diagram to represent another fraction, equivalent to one half, two fourths, three sixths, and four eighths. Example to activity. Below are examples of shaded circles representing equivalent fractions. Day 4. Just from the box, the fractions equivalent to the given fraction, then draw each of them using either fraction strips or bars, fraction discs or circles, or number line. Use the table provided to organize your answers. Answer for the listen activity. Fill in the missing words to complete the statements. I learned that D5 Formative assessment Draw or model the fractions using fraction bar strips, fraction circle or disk, and number lines. Then, determine whether these fractions are equivalent or not. Put a check if the fractions are equivalent, and X if they are not. Answer to the formative assessment. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.